and the water temperature was 45 degrees. This is the No Weather Radio All Hazards Station WMG 736, broadcasting from the National Weather Service Office in Sterling, Virginia, and transmitting on a frequency of 162.450 MHz from an antenna located in Washington, D.C. Here is a look at the weather features that will affect the region over the next several days. Low pressure will pass by to the south late tonight through Wednesday, bringing rain and perhaps even some snow. The best chance for snow will be along the ridges in the Allegheny and Potomac Highlands as well as the Blue Ridge Mountains. High pressure returned Thursday before a potentially dynamic storm system impacts the region heading into the weekend with potentially strong winds. Now for the official National Weather Service forecast for the Washington metro area and the surrounding listening area. Tonight, mostly cloudy. Rain after midnight. Lows in the mid-30s. Southeast winds around 5 miles an hour. Chance of rain 90%. Wednesday, rain, freezing rain with a slight chance of snow in the morning, then a chance of rain and freezing rain in the afternoon. Little or no snow accumulation. Highs around 40. East winds 5 to 10 miles an hour, becoming north in the afternoon. Chance of precipitation near 100%. Wednesday night, mostly cloudy. Lows in the lower 30s. North winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Thursday, partly sunny. Highs in the lower 50s. North winds 5 to 10 miles an hour, becoming northeast in the afternoon. Thursday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the mid 30s. East winds around 5 miles an hour. Friday, mostly cloudy. Rain. Highs in the upper 50s. Chance of rain 80%. Saturday, breezy. Partly cloudy. Rain likely. Highs around 50. Lows in the lower 20s. Chance of rain 70%. Sunday, mostly clear. Highs in the mid 40s. Lows in the lower 30s. Monday, partly cloudy. Highs in the upper 50s. Lows in the lower 40s. Tuesday, partly cloudy. Highs in the lower 60s. Lows in the lower 40s. The latest river levels in the Potomac, Shenandoah, and Rappahannock basins are as follows. All reports are current as of 6 p.m. and are measured in feet. For Potomac River at Shepherdstown, 3.6. Potomac River at Point of Rocks. 2.9. Potomac River at Edward Ferry, 5.2. Potomac River at Little Falls, 3.8. North Fork Shenandoah River near Strasburg, 2.5. South Fork Shenandoah River at Front Royal, 1.8. Shenandoah River at Millville, 2.9. Rappahannock River at Remington, 3.6. Rappahannock River above Fredericksburg, 2.5. Rapidan River near Culpeper, 1.2. Opecan Creek near Martinsburg, 2.3. Seneca Creek at Dawsonville, 2.2. Goose Creek near Leesburg, 2.1. Monica Sea River at Frederick, 2.8. This hazardous weather outlook is for the Maryland portion of the Chesapeake Bay, Tidal Potomac River, and I-95 corridor through Central Maryland, Northern Virginia, and District of Columbia. Day 1, tonight. No hazardous weather is expected at this time. Days 2 through 7, Wednesday through Monday. A strong area of low pressure will likely move up the east coast during the first half of the weekend. Although its exact track and strength remain uncertain, there is an enhanced severe storm threat for damaging wind gusts late Friday night through Saturday. At least scattered instances of tree and power line damage are possible and could result in blocked roadways or power outages. Gale to storm force winds are possible over area waterways late Friday night through Saturday. Spotter information statement. Spotter activation may be needed late Friday or Saturday. Now for the National Weather Service Marine.